Hi guys, um, welcome to my YouTube channel and my name is Benelie for those who don't know me. Um, so today I'll just share with you why I procrastinated opening a YouTube channel. Yeah, so when I was younger, I, <laughs> I had a desire to open a channel, right? But and I was always used to get encouragement to open a channel. But then back then, if I or had I opened the channel, it would have been about hair. And in my mind, I was always thinking like, how many times will I like show you how to wash your hair or do the lock method like, and then what? And then I wanted to bring something to the, to the, to the plate. But I also didn't want it to be about me. So I just told the whole situation. The desire was there and stuff like that. And there's one thing that I don't like doing and it's doing my own thing. Because it's it's so much harder when you do your own thing. So I was always asking God, God, is this something you want me to do or not? But the desire was there, it never went. So I just left it. Um because I wasn't getting a yes or a no, I was just in the waiting room. So I left it at that. Um, I, I don't know what to do or where to go, right? So yeah, the other fear that I had was I, I am a, a, I'm an introvert. I'm a shy person as well, but I'm confidently shy. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, so to just talk like this it's really not my thing or it's out of my comfort zone this is like me really walking on water like really um so i had that fear of attention and what people would say because i don't want i don't like attention i don't want it back then like i said i was a bit younger i was like 20 20, 20, 19, 19 or 20 years. So I wanted to open a channel. I wanted to add something or bring something to the table. But what solid could I really have added to the table, my guys? Um, I, I didn't, for as much as I wanted to add something to the table, um, I didn't have anything to add to the table, right? So, um... I was in a season of growth and um, I remember I, for all my life, or most of the time, or for as much as I can remember, I've always been like the odd one out, like I, I was just so different, I don't know why. Um, at work, I would come to work and I was like, when I came to work, I was like the youngest. Yo guys, I was youngest. People would, would, would ask me if I'm here for my parents. Or if I came to see my parents at, at work, my colleagues would ask me that. So I was really young and even when I do things, if I go to a seminar or if I go anywhere, I'm always like, I'm the youngest or I come into a room and there are like a lot of men in there and I have to sit there um, and try not to be intimidated and I, or I will come into a room and there are they are like managers all over the place and I'm like, just me, like, you know, I was just the old one. I, or I'd had like a group of friends and they're all like the same tribe and I would like be the only damara. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but um, I just be the old one out. So, yeah, I was in the season of growth and I remember I was at Ali. Ali's African Leadership Institute and I was there, I was doing a course on leadership and the Davi Furry came into the room and then he was like he, he looked at me and he, he he was talking and then he said something in the line he looked at me, he was talking to him he then turned to me then said something like oh you the young one what what and then I was like yeah, and I just responded and I said, yeah, I'm used to it. And then he looked at me and then he just looked at me and he stared at me. And then he said, yeah, 
okay and then you know at Ali there's this time when you go on the prayer mountain right and at the prayer mountain um the um it's like a prophecy time where God like puts a word um yeah he gives a word to Davi and then Davi would then tell you or prophesy over your life or something like that so he told me that okay God would, then he said to me you know God was um uh, you're always the young one because you're in a time of growth you're in a time of learning and you need to learn as much as possible and I was like okay and then I was like okay I didn't understand what he said really I, I don't I thought I just took it and I left it there and then yeah as time went by when I when I was like okay as time went by I just left it at that um, but now I understand uh, now I understand what he said, what he said when he said it. So after Ali, I got the desire again to start the channel. And then um, I remember I was then asking God, okay, God, so is this what you want me to do? Is this not what you want me to do? So the thing about Ali is Ali, when you're done, Ali also helps you. It helps you holistically. So it helps you find your purpose, vision, and stuff like that. It just helps you get direction in life. So once I had that direction, I think, um, might not be 100%, but I had direction. I came back to God, back to the drawing board. And then I came reasoning with God again. Is this what you wanted me to do? Is this, 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 like that. So, yeah. That was now 2019, right? So, yeah. 2020, then 2020 came. And then we had like a 21 day fasting, right? So, 21 day fasting. At the, during this fast, I was just asking God for clarity of things and stuff like that. And then, now that I had more direction and vision, I was reasoning with God. You know, I'm just that child of God that reasons with Him. I mean, it's biblical. He says, it's, it's in, in scripture. He says, come let us reason. So, let's reason, right? So, um, yeah. I started reasoning with God again. And then I would always tell God, um, my content is all over YouTube already. Why do I have to do it? There are really a lot of people out there doing this and stuff. And then God was like, yeah, they are. And I was like, so how will I do it better? How will I be better? How will I, you know? So God was like, no, 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 you are missing the point. The, the point or, or, or the thing is not to be better. You are different. You are different. Your audience is different. And being different is better than being better. I was like, mm, okay. So, yeah. I hate to understand that. I don't have to be better. I just need to be different. You know what? Another one. You know, we never excuses. Excuses never end, guys. Um, so I continued and I said to God, God, I don't have enough equipment. I don't have my quality is not good. My, my sound, my, I just had an excuse. I just had an excuse. And then God was like, what do you have? You have a phone. Use your phone. Um, because now I was looking at other people's content and I was like, mm, the per perfectionist in me wanted me to be, you know, perfect god was like i don't need perfect i don't want perfect i don't use perfect okay so i was challenged there as well and then yeah i watched as i was now reasoning with god i was i, I watched a a video of a one of them being youtubers and she actually showed or said how she records during the night because that's the only time she can record during the day it's so quiet i it's, it's noisy and during the night that's when it's quiet so that's the time she uses to record i was like yo and then on 
top of that then she pulls out like the um what she uses is lighting and it was a lamp a study lamp guys so i was very convicted i was like okay she i get the point god so yeah and then after that i started with another excuse which is i don't have time hey i used to say i don't have time a lot of times but i was so busy with not a lot a lot of nothings that i was i was busy doing things that i that didn't matter anyway i was committed to things that didn't i didn't have to be committed to and then um yeah but the, the funny thing is I would say I don't have time, but I would take my phone, sit on YouTube for maybe an hour and watch people's videos. I would watch people love my future, guys. Future. Not in the sense of uh, material stuff and stuff, but like they are doing what I actually would want to do, what I have the desire to do. And But I was too busy watching them do their thing that I didn't invest in doing my thing. I mean, I watch, and there's nothing wrong with watching YouTube videos. You just need to make time and prioritize. I could have used that, some of that time to record, edit, and do whatever. I could have made time. And then, oh, after the time issue went by, I had another one, <laughs> guys. Then I said, started with, my voice is not good enough. I, I started <laughs> oh guys that I would start to reason with God and I would always say that God um, I feel like my voice doesn't sound good enough on audio and stuff like that you know when you record yourself like on the phone and um, you're like oh everybody who has been listening to this I'm sorry <laughs> so that's how I felt I was like no my voice wasn't good enough for the platform and then I started to research ways to bring the message across without showing my face so it's like a faceless niche on YouTube and I was like when I started googling I was overwhelmed I was like no this is too much for me I can't do this um it's just too much logistics and stuff around it and I was like mm. and then I just had to make peace because guys my voice is not going anywhere I mean, it could have been worse. There are people without a voice. And I don't mean it bad, but I need to appreciate, I, I need to work with what my voice gives me <laughs> and how it sounds like. So, yeah. And then the I think the ultimate or the last one was where I also started to watch videos and then people with, on YouTube start mentioning how you are late with starting a channel, you're late, you're late, if you're late, blah, 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 blah. And then I would say, God, oh, God, I'm late anyway, maybe if I had started 20 whatever. And then God said, okay, had you started 2014, 2015, what would you have offered? You didn't have anything to offer, it, so you're not late. My timing is what you should work on, not on the world's timing. I can't count on the world's timing. We have to count on God's timing, guys, because God's timing is the best timing and God's resources are the best resources. They are the ultimate resources and they are infinite. They don't end. But the world's resources, if you depend on the world's resources, then you're doomed. So maybe you guys are wondering like how, what pushed me a little bit. So one of the things that gave me a push was Corona. Um, when Corona happened, a lot of people started dying right and I realized that I could be next I could die and I could have done nothing with my life what could I have done what did, what did I do with my life that apart from going to church I, I got my degrees um, I go to church I come home and then what and so yeah and then um, I also watched a video or a clip or something about Miles Monroe where he, where he mentioned that. He said, if I die now, I will die knowing that I've done everything that I was supposed to do. Everything you're supposed to do. Yo, that got me thinking. I was like, guys, I was like, God, what have I done? 
have I even started? So it really got me thinking. And then the other thing was, two, three weeks ago, three, yeah, um, I lost a cousin. My cousin was really young. He was like 29. And I lost my cousin. And I felt like when, usually when, if somebody passes away, I don't really, it doesn't, it doesn't touch me the way it touched me um, this time around I was it sh his, his, his death shook me it it just made me see something else I, I, I looked at it I was like I could be next I'm not too young enough to die I can die I can even die now so if I'm trying to be funny um, then funny will find me and yeah so after that um i sit down and i always ask god okay god um i had to ask god like to remove funny desires for me um desires of fame to be known you know spotlight desires of any pride and stuff like that because the, these things get, i feel like, i feel like it can get to your head and I didn't want that, um, so I wanted this to be um, an action of obedience and not my selfish ambition, right? So, yeah, I wanted people to see what God has done and is doing or did and did not do. I, I wanted it to be that, um, yeah, people should see God, not me, like why? Why you wanna see me for what? So during the fast, um, when I was reasoning, not reasoning, but confirming with God, God gave me a scripture. It was, you know, God speaks to me through number plates sometimes, people's number plates, like car number plates. And during that time, I remember um, God, there was this car for the number plate that is Joshua 1 9. 1 9. And it says, Have I not commanded you? Wait, I have it here. Yeah, it says, um, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And that to me, I was like, okay, God, now you are commanding me. Huh? So, yeah, that was me now. After I asked God if it's me or my own desire. So, after the 21 day fast, I had my own fast again. And then, um, at the end of that fast, um, I, I made it a thing that I would read the Bible, right? So I was reading from the beginning to wherever. So I was at Deuteronomy and I stopped there. And after the fast, my fast now, um, I, 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 was, I told God, okay, God, I'm going to do this. But if you're not going with me, then I, I, I'm not going. I'm not, I'm not going. Like, I don't want to go. And then... Um, the funny thing is, I opened my Bible and the the first, the next um, book that I was going to read was Joshua. So I started with Joshua 1. And I felt like in Joshua 1, God was just talking to me because Joshua 1 was where God was instructing Joshua to go to what, yeah, to the promised land, to go, you know, check out, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, 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 God was telling me to go. And so that's basically how I got here. And so guys, um, the moral of this video is guys, we, sometimes you think your timing is a bit off or you have procrastinated. And yes, sometimes you do procrastinate, but sometimes it's that you are just, under equipped to do what you're supposed to do look at people like king david he was anointed to be king but when did he actually become king 
and you see all those like it takes time before you can actually do what you have to do but you need to be careful because when God then tells you to go and you don't go again in your reasoning then you can also become disobedient so you can be under equipped and then disobedient so yeah I, yeah so guys thank you for watching this video um i really appreciate everybody that has taken the time to watch this also guys please like please um, subscribe and comment please share this video as well and guys um those who subscribed thank you for subscribing and the ones who didn't subscribe like why haven't you subscribed yet it's for free guys this is like the only free thing that you can get in life just subscribe there so guys thank you for watching bye